Hey guys, it's Brittany. Today's video is brought to you by Hair So Fly. I have another synthetic wig review for you guys. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna be reviewing another wig from the Bobby Boss HD Lace Collection. I have reviewed several of them since the beginning of 2020. This is in the style Atena. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I've watched several videos on this wig and everybody kind of pronounces it in a different way. So this is Atena and I have her in a number two. This is a 13 by seven wig. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys the construction of this wig inside of the cap. So you do get two combs at the front. You get an adjustable elastic band within the cap. A lot of times with the adjustable elastic bands, they're kind of flimsy. Um, and then you get a comb in the back. These are the baby hairs that come with the wig and I don't really use them. I kind of comb them back into the wig. So this is what it looks like just plopped on my head. You guys see how long those baby hairs are. I do love this length. It's about 16 inches on me and I'm six feet tall. Um, I have tried a longer version of this. I forgot the name of it. Was it like Jocelyn? No, it was called Jacintha. So this is like the shorter version of Jacintha. So off camera, I did spray the lace with the even lace tint spray because this lace comes light. Everybody knows this by now. I would highly recommend having some lace tint spray because um, the lace on this is very light. I'm going ahead and cutting the lace off and I'm cutting in a zigzag motion just so that when I put my um, got to be glued on my lace, it's more seamless and Cutting your, la your lace in a zigzag motion helps to create a more natural blended hairline. And I just put a little bit of the black got to be glued gel on my lace and uh, blow dried it down with my comb. I didn't like go super hard with, you know, gluing it down and everything because on this particular day, I've reviewed like three other wigs or two other wigs. And I'm just gonna create some baby hairs at the front, just a little here and there because I felt like that would add a little bit more personality and pizzazz to the hairline. So I did three little swoops, two at the temple and then one in the middle. So this wig is actually big head friendly, but it's confusing because they don't give you enough lace on the side. So my natural edges did peek out. I do have a large head. I have a 23 inch circumference head. And when I was wearing it as a side part, my edges, you know, they were hanging out a lot. So um, I did find that to be a con, a personal con. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It is a comfortable cap. They just don't give you enough lace on the sides. So I'm just going to tie down the front just so the lace is even more melted. And this is what it was looking like. I did kind of have some of the got to be glued kind of stick to my edge scarf. And now I'm just putting foundation on my forehead and on the lace. When I'm applying my frontal wigs, whether it's human hair or synthetic, I don't have any product on my forehead. I try not to, and I've said this several times in my other videos. Um, when you have product on your forehead and stuff, it mixes with the adhesive um, and it doesn't look good and it can give you a crusty application. So I would advise to I would advise you to apply your wig without makeup on or just, you know, just skip your forehead makeup until after. So I'm kind of molding the part, in, the part in space and everything with my hot comb, just so everything is nice and flat. And I'm just combing through the hair. Uh, the texture on this wig is really nice. It's like a light yakky texture. And I don't think I was expecting that. I thought it was really, really nice. The reason why I picked up this wig in the first place is because I saw Natural Joy wear it and I was like, yep, I need it. So I mix in two different powders, the Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder and 330 Toffee, uh, not 330 Toffee, but Golden Almond Finish. And then I took 322 from Maybelline and I mixed those to uh, wake up my pardon space. And it's beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. I was kind of irritated on this day because this was like the last day before I got my twist in that I was recording and stuff. Yeah, but this this did give me some difficulty as far as, you know, trying to conceal my own edges as the side part. But this overall was very, very beautiful. And I would definitely wear this again. I did have some issues with tangling. Shedding wasn't 
crazy, but the tangling was crazy, y'all. So keep that in mind if you are interested in this wig. Very beautiful overall, but it they don't provide a lot of lace on the sides, which is a bit con. And this does tangle. So those are my two big cons for this wig. Now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like as a middle part, just in case you were interested in that. With any wig, I have noticed, and I've been saying this for a long time, that middle parts are just way easier. Um, and I didn't really have to worry about my edges popping out because they were concealed because they were in, because it was in a middle part. So I just used my wax stick that I got from my first wig. This is their Flyaway Tamer. And I just kind of used that to mold the top of my part because this wig did have a lot of flyaways. Um, but I, I, think it, I think it came from the baby hairs. So I put some powder in the part in space. That part in space looks good. Hairline looks good. I wanted to add a little bit of layers at the front. So that's what I did. I just took my eyebrow razor and added some light layers up there and just kind of added some finishing touches to this wig. Um, at the time I was pretty irritated, uh, when I was doing the side part, cause it, it was just, you know, the wig fit, but it just wasn't enough hair on the sides. And I've experienced this, you know, several times with other wigs from this collection. It didn't really bother me with like, you know, Bobby Boss Camille, but it, it bothered me with this one. But even though I had that issue, I still really like this wig. I love the texture I love, of course, I love the number two color because it, you know, blends with my natural hair color. Um, this length is very nice. I don't even think I'm going to keep my Jacintha anymore because I have this shorter length that's um, more wearable for every day. And I like the versatility. It looks really good as a middle part and a side part. And with the middle part, I didn't do any baby hairs and it still looked really good. So if you're not a baby hair fan, you know, you can skip that. But <laughs> overall... Atena is a winner for me. Um, I would give this wig like an eight and a half. I would have given it a higher rating if I didn't have so many like issues with like my edges popping out and the tangling, but this is a beautiful look. Very glam and very wearable and versatile. So if you are interested in this wig, you can head over to Hair So Fly and pick it up there. I do have an affiliate link that you can purchase through. And if you purchase through it, I do get a small commission. So shout out to anybody who decides to purchase through that link. I appreciate you guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any other questions that I did not answer in this video, please leave them down below or just show me some love down below. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.